Um, these glue sticks here, these are for rats. We got the big ones. So these, what happens, they climb on these and they're stuck. One foot, whatever, it's kind of like a bear trap, only glue. Same as fly traps work. Um, so basically we get them and they, they may stay alive, but they won't be alive when I'm done with them. Because they tell you, I really don't like rodents that kill my plants. So I have no trouble putting a pellet in their head. Um, I'm totally pissed about my plants right now. So I do intend to catch as many as possible via this way, poisoning their asses and breaking their freaking necks with these traps until we're dead. And we do know we have to do go around the perimeter of the house. You know, I've done some research on what I have to do. And uh, for those that might be laughing or thinking, oh, well, you should have known this stuff as a, as a professional grower. Well, you know what? You don't know because professional growers are not psychics, okay? We cannot predict that, hey, last crop went perfect and this crop, psychic, you know, I'm going to psychically tell you that mice are going to attack the crop. Uh, you know, like that's impossible. One more insight, this is what I found very interesting. I couldn't understand how um, I got spider mites uh, at the same time as this attack happened. I noticed spider mite break out at the one back corner. Uh, what I found out through my research on the mice was that they actually carry thrifts and they carry mites on them, not to mention a host of other feces. There's 101 reasons to get them out of your garden immediately. Um, but that being said, um, these particular mice actually carry in spider mites and thrips. So that's another way to look at stuff and even scales for that matter could probably be carried in in the same fashion. So uh, vice or mice are very detrimental. Um, their feces alone, uh, that gets into your plants, you know, that could be another issue. So uh, again, our attack was very minimal, which is, uh, you know, in the scope because it was caught right away. So I cannot underestimate checking the bottom and setting your traps right. Um, I don't like setting these traps. Um, it's not something I've really been able to get my head around yet, but basically in setting them, anybody who's ever had a mouse trap, that would be set like that. You would take your little piece of poison, embed this inside some peanut butter, and then set your peanut butter in on there with holding back your trigger. And of course, when these go off, I mean, they, they will definitely kill the mouse like that and I don't care to break the little fuckers necks excuse my language but they killed my plant so you know next to the cops killing my plants this time it's mice you know so I really don't like my plants getting killed you know the only other thing you can do worse is come near my family so at all said you know this was my scale so as you can see now we've rigged up our traps each trap has basically a pellet okay which has actually been you can see it kind of here I'll ask my camera person to zoom in you can see the pellet actually on the peanut butter and uh, the peanut butter of course is what's going to attract them, the pellet being the poison just in case they actually snag it and get away from the trap. If I can't snap their neck, the poison will kill them later. One way or another, they're one dead rodent. I don't care, they eat my plants. So, you know, I'm usually a nice guy that believes in karma and I don't like to kill things. But you know what, you attack my plants, I'm going to kill you. So, they attack my plants, they're dead. These are the traps, so let's go set them up. We'll show you in the next part. Welcome back, Jason Wilcox. So here we are downstairs getting ready to set our traps. So we're going to start by opening up some of the stuff here. This here is the glue traps. You can see these are all preloaded with their, uh, their peanut butter and their poison. And these glue traps I haven't quite used before. Oh, but I can see how they aren't getting far once they get stuck on that. Yeah. So basically they step on this and they're stuck. So what I'm going to do is look at where they're coming in. I know they're coming in right here, right? So I'm going to put a little trap for him. Let that sit right there. Another key spot I've noticed that they're coming in is going to be over here. I don't know if my camera person can see this corner here, but there's a little tiny hole here. And this I can see rat dumplings here and chew marks. This is the plastic here that they chewed up. So I'm going to put the other glue stick right down here. Catch any of them coming through. 
that's part two. And then of course we have our sander traps. So trap like this, we're gonna set over here. The thing about setting these traps up is making sure that you're you're also gonna be able to get around your, your plants in that. Um, as for the poison bags, the poison bags can be left as is. The rats will, or the mice will actually eat right through the plastic. So these can be strategically put out basically anywhere. So I mean, I can just throw that over there, and that's fine. Because any anything they pick up, it's going to kill them. And uh, and that's about it. I'm going to allow my uh, one of our tech team members and one of my associates to go ahead and start laying some of the traps and uh, take a little bit of a break here. We're running around all morning trying to deal with these guys, but uh, we'll bring in some plants, set up some traps, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll see you later. That sucks. That sucks. I don't want to redo that. <laughs> I don't blame you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll set Holy them. Holy fuck. I <laughs> told you to be careful, dude. Alright, okay, that's actually that's a good blooper. Is that part. a good one? Yeah, we'll add that to fuck. the bloopers. <laughs> okay. Okay. So at the end of the day, I'm battling the little critters and not knowing if we have any success. It's almost like fishing. Only you don't get to see which going on in the water until tomorrow. So I'm, I'm hoping to hear the snap of some traps. All said, I still hold my little girl here. That was, you know, a nice plant that uh, has been hacked down and uh, and I realized that I just, I had to do a closing out to the video. So smoking a little nice clean bubble hash, you know, relaxing and just waiting for those little bastards to get their necks snapped. It's perfectly fine with me. I just have to be okay with the fact that this is happening. My biggest fear is that I'm gonna to have to bring you a movie that shows more of these because I failed to set the traps right or to take it to the right approach. Um, I'm fighting it the best I can. So anybody online who wants to give some pointers, I'm wide open because in my 10 years, I ain't come across this yet. So uh, wide open to the public at this point. This is Jason Wilcox signing out. We'll see you next time.